in very broad terms, there are two ways of estimating measurement uncertainty components. The A type and the B type uncertainty estimation. And let us see what these terms mean. A type uncertainty estimates are obtained from repeated measurement results. So whenever we repeat measurement several times and then make our calculations, we do A type uncertainty estimation or uncertainty estimation of the type A. And usually the data treatment means calculating the standard deviation. So the most common A-type measurement uncertainty is a standard deviation. Secondly, all such uncertainty estimates that are obtained without the use of repeated measurements are called B-type or type B uncertainty estimates. And here we can bring as examples, for example, concentrations of standard solutions whereby the uncertainty of the concentration is obtained from the certificate of the standard solution or some data from the instrument documentation or educated guesses or ex expert opinions which in chemistry are quite important those also qualify as B-type uncertainty estimates. So for example a person working with a certain instrument during long long time can easily say that this instrument will not be off systematically by more than some magnitude and this then would be called a B-type uncertainty estimate. How do A-type and B-type uncertainty estimates relate to the random and systematic effects that we have looked at? There is a relation and there are some similarities between random effects and type A uncertainty estimation systematic effects and type B, but these things are not synonymous. Let us see. Random effects most usually are estimated by type A estimates. So all the repeatabilities within lab long-term reproducibilities and so on are typical type A uncertainty estimates. Now random effects can also sometimes evaluated by type B estimation. And these are all those cases where we do not have the separate measurement data, but we have either some <coughs> summary characteristics or we get the data from some data source which does not provide to us the original data, but only the eventual findings, the eventual uncertain testing. Let us look now at the systematic effects. Systematic effects typically are evaluated using type B evaluation or type B estimation. However, in certain cases, certain systematic effects can also be evaluated by type A uncertainty evaluation. And these are all those cases where the effect is a systematic effect in the short term but in the long term can become a random effect. In such a case, type A evaluation is possible and this is what is typically done in within lab long-term reproducibility calculation, which we see later on in this course.